learning how to cook or learning how to clean garlic collard greens that may turn to cleaning. So what I have is two collard greens that I got from, well first make sure you clean your kitchen, you wash your hands, cook in a clean area. So right here I have collard green leaves, I don't know. Um, have a bag to put what we're cleaning. What else do we got, Granny? Uh, we're going to look at uh, what we're gonna use to, cause we're gonna make this semi-vegetarian style without meat, but with the broth of the meat. Uh, so we're gonna use some turkey uh, uh, broth. I'll and bring you closer. The turkey broth has uh, quite a bit of sodium in it. So I would not add salt, okay? So we could put that away because we're not gonna use it. And then we have some red pepper flakes. And some people like to put a little vinegar in it, but um, we don't. All right, so we have our our uh, utensils for uh, cooking and cleaning the collard greens. We have a large uh, pot. We have a knife to cut the collard greens. Uh, but what we're gonna do first is take them out the package so that and we can. have a cutting board too a cutting board and with the knife use this is only for 18 and up you say we are with a parent around hold uh, on Granny. <laughs> let me bring it closer okay we're back okay what we want to look for when we buy our greens are healthy green leaves like this you want them this size or smaller let me That's, give y'all a close up that you want a healthy leaf, okay? This size or smaller, and um, versus an unhealthy leaf. These, this is an unhealthy leaf, so you want to avoid these. What makes it okay. unhealthy? See, it's yellow. Yellow is already going bad. Okay, can we do a side by side to see the difference of a good leaf? Oh, okay, I see it. All right. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, get rid of this leaf. And we have our bag, and we're just gonna drop it in there because all our, um, all our, all our parts that we do not uh, use is gonna go in this bag and we're gonna throw them in the garbage. Okay, so what I do, what I do is inspect actually every leaf and I look at it I make sure that it's not anything that's welded mounted onto the leaf that needs to be given special care to in that and so I do every one and I put them in the pan and I just keep going until I uh finish okay and you can see dirt down here on this I wouldn't worry about it too much because what we're gonna do is tear the green off of the stem here okay so but if it's on the actual leaf the leaf itself you want to clean that up right away and give it that special attention one-on-one -on -one. and that way you make sure that your greens are nice and clean for your guests or yourself. And uh, so the first and the last leaf was kind of yucky. And you don't want to have to throw away too many of these leaves because the more you throw away, the less you're going to have to eat. Oh, these are going to be mighty, mighty good. Once you get that done, I don't know, I clean up as I go. So I guess, okay, so what we're gonna do, we got the nice cool water, cool water, not warm water. And what I did before is I made sure the both sinks were clean because we're gonna use both of them. And what I do, uh, everybody got their own per personal preference and that's how they do it. 
But what I do is wash, because these are fairly large leaves. It don't take a whole lot. And you're giving them a second inspection when you wash them individually. So then I just go and I wash them individually and take my hand and wipe them to make sure that something there I don't see that I can get it, you know, try to rub it off and that. And so this is a, like I said, a second inspection. And we go through the whole pile. Now collard greens, it might seem like it's a, I mean, yeah. It might seem like it's a bit of a task, but to me, they're easier to clean than all the other greens out there, okay? Because you can actually see the whole leaf and that, and they're big enough that you can actually rub them and, you know, and, and uh, see if something is on them that shouldn't be there or, you know, so. <laughs> Do you want me to wash all of them or you want me to? I can wash them. Okay, now we're going to let Alexander do some. Well, thank you. What do you want me to say? You want me to say like So, like. Yeah, look at them, though. You got to do an inspection. But well, when you get, when you get, uh, really to be an expert on, you know what you're looking for, so, in that. So you wash them, and then and you, and this is your second inspection of that leaf. Can you wash them in hot water? No, I wouldn't wash them in hot water. Why? Wash them in cold water because they will, and they get nice and firm for you with that warm, with that cold water running on them. So it brings them to life. I'm telling you, if it's, uh, they're not clean, your guests may feel grit on their teeth and that when they go to eat. The next task is to take the stem. Show your slow motion, Green. We'll just do it, don't talk. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna, gonna just take them and pinch them on each side and pull. and take them off the stem. Now sometimes when you buy the collard greens in the bag, they have stems galore. Not a good scene. Not a good scene when you serve your meal. From my point of view. Everybody do what they wanna do. Yep. And then, and if you only buy so much and you pick those stems out, guess what you have? Half the greens that you thought you had that you were gonna cook. So just, it's easy enough to do. Just trim it on both sides of the, of the stem. Mm -hmm. it is, it's fairly fast. Just in case. But the green itself should be fairly. Alright, so we but we back these up. Dang. And we can put those in the garbage. Okay, then we get our cutting board. I like to just have it so I can rake it off in this thing. Okay, and for this part of it, I'm going to put in the drain so that I can, because I'm going to wash them again once I get through cutting them up. So what I do is take them, after I pull them off the uh, stem, take them 
all them up. Just put them all. I stack them up like this. I met him in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes. I'm a granny. My children love it. And this is the way I do it. And this is the way my mom did it. And so that's that. And what I do is I take the leaves, like I said, and I stack them up. And then I take a serrated knife. Here. Okay. So what I do, it's a little bit awkward here for me in this position. Cause, but anyway. You want I, me to turn? I'm no, on the other side. What I do is I um, cut the green probably a half to a fourth inch. Normally a fourth inch. A fourth inch wide. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. How it looks there? So I just roll them up and cut them in that. And I know that professional people have the way they cut, but like I say, this is how this I do This is how my granny do it, Perry. And I haven't cut a finger yet, so. And then I just ring it off, like I said, in the sink. So it's a system to it for me. Then I start all over again. Now it's Alexandra's turn. Go, Alexandra. Let me tell you about this girl, maybe I should I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar See, we've been making love constantly That's why my eyes are a shade, blood burgundy The way that we kiss is unlike any other way That I be kissing when I'm kissing what I'm missing Won't you listen, Brown Sugar And then Alexandra is wanting me to show her how to do it So I kind of think the tradition will go on And that, and hopefully she'll teach her daughter and everything in a part of me will live on in, in her greens. <laughs> in your green? In her collard green preparation. <laughs> So now we're gonna run some cold water. Let me see how many how that looks. Okay, college uh, greens do not cook down a whole lot. Like like uh, turnip green. Turnip green will you can buy six bunches and cook them and it'll be enough on one person. But uh I'm I'm uh, far reaching a little bit. But uh collard greens they usually stay true to size. They'll cook down maybe a fourth, you know, but uh, but usually they stay stay true to size and amount. So what we're gonna do now, cause we rolled them up. You ain't got to talk, Green. I just let them see. But you I gonna let it see. Know what I'm doing. Okay. So you know we roll the greens up. So what we wanna do? Just put them in some water and let them uh, become a single, single piece again. Have, uh, you don't want to cook them rolled up. In that time, while I'm letting them sit, I get my pot and my broth ready. Like a little bit of pot liquor that they can eat with their cornbread while they're eating their greens. So anyway, mine's is a little bit, not real juicy, but a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do now is drain the greens and let the water drain off. So, we are done cleaning the green. So, we have this is the end of the cleaning process. This is the end of the clean, cleaning process, and we're just gonna let the greens drain 
for a few minutes because we have our broth and we really don't want to add a lot of extra water to that. Uh, turkey stock. Now remember you can use vegetable stock to make it all vegetarian or you could just add a little bit this of the uh, turkey stock in it. And I usually use, I don't know why, but it seemed to me that the turkey, that the broth and that, uh, I don't know, it uh, cooks out kind of fast. So I usually start with two cups. After shaking it, two cups and that. And I forgot to tell you before that I usually put like a fourth of a cup of olive oil. And then a fourth of a uh, spoon of uh, pepper flakes. To give it a little bit of a kick. And depending on how potent your uh, pepper flakes are, you know, kind of be careful with that with kids. Alrighty then. And we're ready to go to the stove. Now I'm gonna tell you we I have two different two different set of eyes. So I'm gonna use the back eye. I'm gonna let that uh, boil come to a boil, and then I'm gonna put my greens in. And so the what the broth and temperature boiling. So now we're gonna add the greens. You wanna add them or you want me to add them? Mm -hmm. This is a lot of cooking on her part. <laughs> and be careful cause you don't wanna spill them all over the stove. Okay, now we're gonna check the greens. And as you can see, it's not much broth in there. And we're gonna just stir them up. Oh, 